beautiful people. Like they say in Italian, ciao bella gente mio. <laughs> How are you today? I hope you're all doing well. I hope everything is working out for you guys. I hope that you guys are spending some quality time with your families right now in these special times that we're going through. Um, I hope you're all well and healthy and strong. Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Norma here in Las Vegas. Um, I moved here about 20 years ago from San Jose, California. I miss San Jose. I miss family. I miss family. I miss San Jose. I miss my beaches more than anything. I miss just the weather, the fresh air, the oceans, San Francisco, Santa Cruz, Monterey. I miss it. I miss it. But uh, cost of living is a lot better here in Las Vegas. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. Um, I just wanted again to introduce myself, let you guys know what I'm up to, what I'm doing. Um, first of all, short and sweet, just wanted to let you guys know I'm, this is part of one of my first couple of videos. I wanted to introduce myself and tell you guys what I'm doing and hopefully you guys will join me, maybe subscribe, maybe click a like. Um, alright, so... First of all, I'm trying to get my YouTube together, rocking and rolling, trying to get some things going on. I got a couple of journeys going on, a couple of things that I'm trying out. Um, but number one, something I'm really, really excited about is my weight loss journey. I have been trying to do keto since March. Um, it's surely, slowly but surely. I've lost 20 pounds so far, something I've been trying to do for years now and I just have not been able to and I, I finally, finally put my mind to it and I told myself, you gotta do it girl, you gotta do it and we're gonna make mistakes, we're gonna stumble, we're gonna fall, we're gonna get right back up and keep going. And like I said, slowly but surely, I've lost 20 pounds, I'm really excited, I'm really happy about it. and. That's why one of the reasons why I want to do this YouTube, which I've been wanting to do a YouTube channel for like a really long time. Um, I'm not very techy, so it's kind of scary. I'm not great with the camera. I don't like to be in front of the camera. I'm not used to it. I love taking pictures though. Kind of weird, huh? I love to take pictures, but I don't like to be taking pictures of. Is that crazy? I don't know if you guys are like that. I'm like that. I love pictures because as I was growing up, I like remembering, I like looking at the pictures and remembering, and I think remembering and memories with family and friends, special events, and just funny pictures, it just, it's so awesome just going back. I remember one of the places I lived at, it would be awesome, we'd all sit down and just look at the photo albums. Um, I remember they'd say, if my house were ever to burn down, you guys need to go back for my pictures, my picture albums, my collection of pictures. So I think that was put inside of me. I'll tell you more about my story uh, as growing up more into it. I don't want to make it long. I just want to kind of give you guys a brief update of what I'm doing. So I love pictures. I just don't like to be in them. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, my journey losing weight, I've lost 20 pounds so far. I'm trying keto, I'm not perfect, I'm a newbie, and I'm learning how. Um, there's little mistakes I've done here and there, but pretty much I'm just, you know, not eating any bread, any um, carbs, any sugar, which sugar has been really, really hard for me to stay away from. But I've done it. I have had one cheat date from March to now. I just, I, I think I hit like rock bottom. I was just, I don't know, I don't know if it was the keto flu or what it was, but I had no energy. I was just so tired and worn out. But I do love the way I feel doing this keto. Um, I'm not much about eating like greasy food and stuff, but I do like having my eggs in the morning, my cheese, my cottage cheese, and I like having my bacon. I love, wait, 
love bacon. <laughs> so um, that's pretty cool. I try to go out for my walks in the morning about, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour because I am working from home and I start later on in the day so I can do things during the day. Uh, like I said, I was, I've been doing this since March, but like for the past week, um, I haven't been getting up in time in the morning. Um, I've been trying to get some sleep, getting some rest, um, but um, started again up to day walking in the morning, but I have been walking every night. Um, I get off at 9.30, so I walk. I walk for about an hour. My boys go with me, because I am um, a scared cat. <laughs> I don't like to walk out there at night by myself. But um, yeah, so my keto is going good, and I really I want to inspire, I hope that these, that people that are watching, I hope that you can be inspired. It's been so hard. Um, it's not easy. You just gotta make your, you just make your decision that you're gonna lose the weight and you're gonna push forward and you're gonna do this. And it's not easy. I am one to tell you, it is not easy. But once you make up your mind, once you tell yourself I'm gonna do this, and you don't let yourself fall with, if you mess up a little, don't worry about that. You, you're gonna mess up. It, even if you mess up, mess up, it's okay. Just keep going. Don't lose faith. Don't lose that empowerment. Don't lose that will. Just push yourself, keep going. And you know, let other people know, hey, you know, when I'm feeling this way, give me a push, you know, don't let me do this or don't let me do that. But tell them, be nice. <laughs> because even though sometimes our friends and families they do, they care, and they're like, oh no, don't have that. And then it just kind of makes you feel bad, and you're like, no, like, you don't, you feel bad. You just don't want to do that. So, yes, I understand. It's not easy. It's a decision that you have to make. And once you make that decision in your mind, it's like so much easier. Um, it's hard to say no to, I, Put it to you this way, I had a dream that I was eating Rocky Road and chocolate chip mint ice cream and Snickers bars, okay? Dreaming. That's how bad it got for me where I just, I wanted sugar. But no, 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 I want to lose this weight more. And it's all about willpower. And hey, if you have a cookie or you have some ice cream or you have a Snickers bar, okay. You had it. It doesn't matter. You're not going to gain 50 pounds. I get it. I understand. I'm the same way. Sometimes I don't even want to weigh myself because I just feel like I'm. it's going to discourage me. Um, sometimes I feel like, oh, if I even take a bite, like, oh my gosh, yes, say no. Yes, have that willpower. Walk away. Good thing that I have I've un, that I have prepared myself with is that usually I'll have my little salads or like I'll have my prep and I'll just my break I come into the kitchen I make myself a salad boom 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 go back to my desk and you know that's my lunch and that's what I eat or you know in the morning I have to have my eggs I crave eggs in the morning and it's like what one thing I like about this keto is that you're not hungry. Yes, the first week or two, you're kind of like weirded out by it. You're, you might be hungry and like you don't want to eat what you're, you know, you should be eating. You want to eat carbs, you want to eat sugar, you want to eat bread, you want to eat, but then your body gets used to it. So be strong for those two weeks and then after, it kind of just like falls all in place. So I'll be keeping you guys up. I'll be letting you guys know. I'm gonna be showing you guys and I hope you guys join me again. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to press that like button. So moving on. So the other thing that you guys will see on my channel is that I'm learning how to do nails and um, I'm really excited about it. I'm really happy about it. I've been watching a lot of YouTube channels because yes, I am older and I have to work and I, I'm a mom and I take care of whatever I can take care of. Um, and I'm teaching myself and I'm really looking forward to learning more and getting really good at it. I'm videoing it as I'm learning and when I practice because I wanna show people that you can start from anywhere. You can start from scratch and then you just build yourself up. And I just want you guys to watch me building myself up. I want you guys to join me and see, you're gonna see mistakes because 
I'm learning and it's okay. And nobody is perfect. Nobody's a genius at from the beginning, okay? So we gotta practice, you know? And it's something that I really like to do and I'm older and I'm learning new things and I'm really excited about it. It's really cool for me. So I try to post and um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. My third thing is I am doing a plus size haul. And I'm really excited about that too. I can't wait to share with you guys. Um, I've got a couple of uh, outfits that I've, I'm going to go ahead and video. Let me get in front of that camera. You guys are going to go see this body of mine. Um, which I am really excited to show and try on these uh, plus size clothes. So yeah, I hope you guys can join me on that. I hope you guys like that. And again, it's really exciting. I'm having a really good time with all this stuff that I'm learning and doing and just, you know, maybe it's a new time. I don't know. And like I said, it's always good to learn. I, I'm going to mention something. Uh, a while back ago, I met this doctor. Uh, she was in her 50s and she was telling me, hey, you're never ever too old to continue learning. You were made to learn, to constantly learn. She said she raised her four kids. She was a stay-at-home mom. And once her kids were in college, she went to college too. And she's now a, a doctor. And she's got grandchildren. And she, you know, raised her children. Um, she was there with her kids. And she enjoyed life with them. And now she's doing her. And she's a doctor. And she's happy. And she just completely motivated me. Yes, doing nails is not the same as being a doctor. But... I'm learning new things and I'm really excited about it and I hope you guys can join me. And fourth thing is that living here in Las Vegas, I get a lot of questions. What's it like over there? Is it, can you live over there? You must party all the time. You must drink all the time. You must know all these casinos. Really? I work. Everybody else works. Just because I live here does not mean that I have time to party every day, every night or anything, but the cool thing about it is that I'm here. And if I do decide that one night I want to go to a restaurant or I wanna go check out a club or I wanna go have a drink with some friends or I wanna go to a really nice restaurant or I wanna go to an okay restaurant or I just wanna walk the strip, I can. <laughs> I'm excited, I love it, I love it because I do. I like going to the Bellagio and I like get all dressed up and I like taking pictures and videos and, and just enjoy a night out, which is really cool about living here in Vegas because it's just a drive away. But anyway, so what I wanted to mention was that um, I, if you guys wanna check out a place and you guys are like, hey, I heard about this place and I, what's it like? What's the food like? What's the place like? Or hey, is it really like that? Or how is the show? Or um, did, can you check this out? Can you take some pictures? Can you post? Da, da, da? Let me know. I'll be more than happy to. And I'll let you guys know what it's like to be in Vegas. Anyway, so I hope you guys are all having a great time. So I didn't want to make this video too boring, so I'm going to share something with you guys. Just a little something, just kind of maybe pizzazz the video a little. So um, I got some stuff for Mother's Day. And I didn't, I thought it was just normal, whatever. And my kids got me some stuff for Mother's Day. So I wanted to show you guys because I really, really liked this stuff. And I know it's not... I'm not a brand name person. I really don't know a lot of brand names. I just, if I if I see it, I think it's cute, it's the right price, I go for it. If not, I'll usually wait till it's on sale or depend on how badly I want it. So first, I wanna go ahead and show off these glasses that my son bought me for Mother's Day. Um, they were $14 and the quality is just really, really nice. I really like them. I'm gonna order some more. I'm probably gonna order some for my um, two sisters-in-laws. Anyways, um, so they come with the case. Um, they're called Fiesta Day. Fiesta Day. Fiesta Day. And um, F-E-I-S-E-D-Y. And they come in the little case. They're really, really nice. I am, I mean, I, I the quality, I thought it was like flea market. You know, like, you know how you buy them for like five bucks at the flea market? 
And um, look at these glasses. They're really tight. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that really nice? And then they're like brown. They're really nice. I really, I fell in love with these glasses. I'm telling you, I'm ordering more. <laughs> what do you guys think? Anyways, I really, really like them. I completely recommend them, especially in Vegas, as hot as it gets. They come with the little um, rag to clean them. And then they come with the little tag. You guys can see that. Oh. They're really nice. The quality is awesome. And I, I honestly, I love the fact that they come with this leather case. And for $14, you guys, you can't go wrong. I told my son, like, no way, I'm ordering more. I really like them. So they have blue, brown, black, purple. I got the brown ones. Okay, so next. Um, put my glasses back on. I can see, I just, I'm tired. I worked 11 hours today and my, my eyes are tired. So next thing was he got me a primer. I've been wanting this primer um, from Master Prime, Maybelline. Maybelline's a good product. All right, I got a primer. And he got me these brushes. They come with the little sponges. And they come with all the brushes, the lipsticks, the common makeup, everything. I haven't opened them because I want to get a case for them. I like to organize my stuff before I open it, so know where I'm going to put it. But it has all the sponges. And these were, I think, $11.99, $12. Not bad. Um, and he did order me a foundation from Too Faced, which I love Too Faced, but it hasn't come in yet, so... It's on its way. Okay, so I have to tell you guys, this is a box of 12 matte lipsticks. And this, these lipsticks, they're, they're $20 for 12 lipsticks. I pay seven to $8 for one lipstick. Okay, yeah, they may be of Revlon or Maybelline or, you know, common brands, but look at, Look at, just look at the colors, okay? All right, I'm gonna open a box for you. Like I said, I don't wanna make this too long. And I'm going to open number 50, what number? Oh, what is that? 56, and it says kiss. <laughs> oh God, that's funny. Um, kiss me stupid. <laughs> I think you guys can see it. Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Well, it says kiss me, stupid. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Alright, so I'm going to show you. Look at this. Look at this. The, um, it's 56 Kiss Me Stupid is the name. And it's Miss Rose brand. I am in love in love with this. Look at how pretty these colors are. Oops, sorry. Look at how pretty they are. I'm gonna put it on my hand, okay? Hold on, I don't wanna break it. So I'm gonna put it on my hand. Look at how pretty that is. Look. Oh, sorry. Isn't that, oh my God, that is so pretty, guys. Let's fix that a little bit. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. I am so in love with these colors and these lipsticks and they smell so good. I know you can't smell, but you can see. And they are so pretty, look. They are so pretty. I'm definitely gonna order more. I showed them to my daughter and she was like, oh my gosh, mom, mom, those are so pretty. I like them, I'm gonna order some. Probably order her some for, I don't know, a gift. I love getting her stuff. Look at this one. Uh, this is, which one is this? Marjorie, this is called Marjorie. Marjorie and it's number 34. And let's see, put it right next. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Look how pretty those colors are. I don't know if you guys can really see them. They are just beautiful. So 20 bucks, Amazon. And 
these lipsticks are amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I love dark colors. Let's see if I'm just gonna put it on top of the one that I have on because I'm not gonna take it off. But um, this one is number 37, and this is called Angelique. 37. Angelique. Yeah, 37 Angelique. It's upside down. I know let's look at 21. <laughs> and um, and they're called the brand is Miss Rose. Do you guys see that? Beautiful. I'm gonna try this one. Look at I'll put it on my hand first so you guys can see. Look how pretty that is, guys. Oops, hold on. Alright. I guess we'll make it thicker. <laughs> see how pretty that is? Here. video too boring here I am introducing myself remember me my name is Norma I'm in Las Vegas Nevada and I hope you guys will join me for my little journey my weight loss my nails um, my haul my plus size haul and what it's like living in Vegas and um, well um, Thank you so very much for watching. And as they say in Italian, I hope I say this right, grazie per aver portato. Have a good one.